Hey guys, James with uh, Jetty USA and Esprit Tech. Really proud to bring you the new Rex 3900. I know everybody's been waiting on this thing to hit the shelves, and so we wanted to give you an idea, show you how it works, uh, and get you a little more excited uh, and ready to receive your new product. We've got this set up right now in default mode with the Central Box 200. So we're communicating with the R3 as our primary receiver, and we've set up our backup uh, Rex 3900. Uh, you'll notice the Rex 3900 is very small case, similar to the Rex 3 or the R3. Uh, it does have a new configuration uh, with these large T antennas. They're semi-flexible, should be able to mount these in just about anything. Uh, work out really well in most of your aircraft. Um, what I want to do is go ahead and point out that on the transmitter you actually see separated the antenna and then antenna 900 megahertz and uh, at this point we're seeing 9 by 9 on each with a 100% Q value on the R3. You do not see a Q value rating on 900 meg because of the way it's set up. Uh, first thing I want to do is go ahead and digitally kill the transmission to the R3 and give you an idea what you're going to see when that happens if you drop a receiver out in the field. So we'll go into wireless modes trainer and go ahead and shut off our transmission on our primary TX module. So I'm going to go ahead and click that uh, to shut that off, tell it yes. You'll, the radio will beep at you and it'll tell you it's switched to the backup. Now that will continue to beep um, at a timed interval until you've recovered onto the, the uh, primary transmitter module until you're back to your 2.4. We're going to go ahead and click the button so it jumps back onto our 2.4 system. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and I don't, I've got a servo set up to the, to the central box. I've got that set up on a sequencer. So I'm going to go ahead and start the sequence and I'm going to physically pull the connection to the R3 uh, to give you an idea of what would happen if you rattle out a wire or you got uh, blocked out on 2.4. So go ahead and escape back to our main menu. I'll go ahead and start that sequence uh, on our servo here. And I'm gonna reach across and I'm going to unplug our R3. Again, we're gonna switch to our backup. We had no interruption in transmission to the servo. It's continued to operate uh, as normal and uh, we are running, as you hear the beep, on 900 meg. I'm going to go ahead and return our R3 back to, to the system. We hear a beep when we connect. It'll bring up our signal strength and our Q value back to our transmitter, back to our telemetry, and we're now back to running as normal. A couple things I want to point out, uh, we've had some questions on. Um, one is the 900 meg uh, is a little bit slower you will see some latency with when you're operating on 900 mag, which is why we don't use that as a primary transmitter. Um, you cannot start without signal on 2.4. So in other words, you can't uh, be on the ground ready to fly, um, you know, unplug your R3 and power things up because it will not make the connection if it does not see that uh, 2.4 signal. Um, again, that is a safety situation. Uh, we don't want you flying on 900, 900 is there to back you up if something happens on 2.4. Um, you don't want to fly on 900 primarily if you're running a lot of telemetry anyway because of the latency would just be increased the more dense the data was that you were sending out. After we point those couple of things out, uh, everything is as normal. You bind it through the similar procedure. Uh, you need to, when these come out or when these ship out, you're going to need to go into your system and actually enable 900 mag. Uh, that's found in the Advanced Properties Wireless Modes Trainer. Um, you'll see Enable 900 MHz Backup, Pair 900 MHz TX Module, um, and typically if you're in that configuration, you're probably going to be using the 24 channel mode active as well. That's all we've got for you for today for the Rex 3900. We appreciate your time, and if you have any questions, like always, reach out to us at Esprit Tech or Jetty USA.